Hello, I'm Stephen Carter. I'm a colorectal surgeon at OU Medicine. As far as when screening goes, I think that most people would say it's age 45 or 50, depending on what you read. Um, so I think that you can kind of go either way on that. I think that if anybody has symptoms, though it doesn't matter what age it is, that they need to have the colonoscopy. So that'd be bleeding would be your number one symptom, or even change in bowel habits, things like that. Um, and they need to be evaluated for that. Well, usually what we see is pa the patients will have symptoms and then they will not get some screening done or get a, a colonoscopy to evaluate that. So you'll see them three, four years after they've had some problems. And then it's too late often. The old theory is they would start as a polyp, like so colon cancer you're talking about. So like colon cancer would start as a polyp and then we tell it takes 10 years for it to become a polyp and then it takes 10 years for a polyp to become a cancer. At least that's kind of what the textbook tells you and that's probably about right. It does take some time but it starts out as a small polyp that's up and preventable and then it changes into a little more aggressive polyp and then it changes into sort of an invasive cancer and then it eventually invades and then it kind of gets out into the body and you want to sort of catch it before it's any type of cancer. Because once it's a cancer, that's usually going to require surgery.